All right, again, another video here of Mr. Farrell, who's being very, very laid back. I actually think he's a bit depressed this time around. He's been with us twice, um, and I think that uh, returned through, you know, no fault of his own, although he was getting a bit overstimulated in his desire for attention. He, This cat is very sensitive, and he wants to bond really, really tightly with somebody. He wants to be their best buddy would like to be joined at the hip, would like to be around you all the time, but he's got um, kind of a strong personality and I think uh, in the previous home what he was doing was sort of grabbing at ankles and biting at toes, um, which is a very common behavior we see when a cat is very desperate and anxious for attention. And the uh, previous adopter said she worked long hours, um, she was just not able to be home with him enough and the person who had been in the home with him um, a lot, you know, was no longer in the home. So we're looking for a situation, you don't have to be home all the time, but you have to ha be home enough to really devote some good quality time to this guy. Maybe someone who works part-time, someone who's semi-retired or retired, and someone who has um, experience with male Siamese, um, he can be a little persnickety every once in a while, but he's a lovely, lovely cat. Uh, he needs to slim down just a tiny bit. Um, he is on a dry food diet, a high fiber diet. I give him the tiniest little bit of chicken now and then, but he has a sensitive stomach, so um, we keep him on this dry food diet. Uh, that has that is high fiber and designed for sensitive systems. He's doing well on that. He's great in the litter box. He's great with his scratching post. He's playful. Um, makes great eye contact. But hey, buddy, I know. Oh, he just jumped a little bit. I'm sorry, but I think he's I think he's a little sad. Um, he's he's actually much more. What, what's the word I want? Sort of de dumbed down this time around. First time he was almost angry at being here, and originally he was tr dropped off at a vet's office, found just on the stoop of a vet's office. They kept him for a number of months. He had some urinary tract infection that took a while to clear up, and then the upset stomach thing. And, you know, when, when, by the time he fi they finally contacted us, I think he was just kind of fed up and saddened at, you know, not having had a home and so he came in and he was here for a while and we worked hard to get him that first home and unfortunately um, it just, you know, life changes and, and that home did change the makeup of it and so he's back again. Um, but a lovely cat, so the right person is just going to adore this cat because he really, um, you know, not, I mean the male seals are lovely and wonderful not always the brightest light bulb sorry guys um, sometimes they are uh, but this guy very bright very sensitive and very loving but with with some spark <laughs> very loving with some spark for sure um, but he, but he's fun so you do have to be kind of on the experience side I would say to take this guy